Okay, welcome to part four. Let's go ahead and fillet some of the parts. We're going to use the fillet edge command. So type in FI, go to fillet edge, click that option. Then we're going to press R for radius, enter. Then the fillet amount, which will be 0.2, enter. Then I want you to click on the edge parts of the guitar like so. Okay, and press enter. Let's take a look. That looks fine. Okay, let's uh, head over to the back of the guitar. Do that here as well. So, once again, fill it edge command. And then we're going to select the edges of this. Well, is that one and this one as well? Enter. And just one more over here. Enter. Enter. Let's take a look. Okay. Okay, next let's go ahead and make the frets. So we're going to need to use the copy. I'm going to go over to a top view and I'm going to copy out this object as well as this enter. I'm going to move this over to here. And now when you try to trim this object, I need to trim off part of this circle. I'll use the trim command and I'll press enter, but it won't let me. If that ever happens to you, we just have to go to proj mode, which is this one over here, select that and you have to change it from one over to zero. Press enter, select the object, enter, and it should, whoops, with the trim command, select the object, enter, and it should allow you to trim it. Okay, so now it's just considering everything on the same plane. So that's been trimmed. Let's go ahead and draw some lines. You might notice for some of you, when you try to use the line tool here and press enter, you won't be able to draw it in the correct direction. Like I'm trying to draw it vertically right now. It's not working out. So we're going to have to move our X, Y plane. So I'm going to select this and let's see if we could reset it first. I'm going to switch it back to world. Look at it from a top view. Use the line command, enter. And yep, okay, that lets us draw it. So I'm just going to draw a line. And then I'm going to copy that line, enter, select that, enter. And I'm going to move it up a total of 0.2 units, like that. And we can go ahead and add them to our guitar. So I'll use the copy tool, select it, enter. I'm just going to move it over like that. And then I'm going to copy this one, enter and I'm going to put some down. Like 15 or so. Like that. And I'm going to put one more on the top here. So I'm just going to select the singular line and move it up there. Now let's go ahead and trim off all the excess so we can put this on. And when I go ahead to trim this using the trim command, select everything, enter, you'll notice that it's not actually cooperating with me. It wants to delete the entire line. If that ever happens, if it's not cooperating with you, let's change to project mode again. So proj mode, click on that. And you have three options. You have zero, you have one and two. So zero worked last time, but I'm just gonna switch it back over to one and then I'm going to use the trim command and I'm going to select everything, enter. And yeah, right now it looks like it works. So we're going to kind of start out with these lines over here. So I just kind of want you to go through and cut these out.
like that. And then you got to kind of cut out the inside portions like that. Perfect. Let's uh, cut that and this. That looks like one of the lines deleted itself. So I'll just redraw that one in like so. Perfect. So we got all those. Let's go ahead and group them together. So, oh, huh. That explains a lot. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and move them first of all. I'm just gonna select everything up here, enter. And then I'm gonna move that corner over to that corner. Okay, so now they're all intersecting. Now let's go ahead and put them all in a region. So region, enter, select all, enter. And we've created 16 regions. Use the move command, move, and select all the objects, enter, or to move that corner over to this corner right here. Perfect. So all your frets should be in place. We're also going to take the very topmost one and we're going to copy it up there. So let's use the copy command, select this utmost one, enter, and we'll move it over there. So just one additional copy. It doesn't quite fit at the moment, but we'll get it to fit. And we'll use the extrude command on this one, enter. Let's go ahead and say 0.4 units. And then for the other ones, I'm just going to kind of select them all at the same time. enter. Let's go ahead, a total of 0.2 units, so it looks something like that. I'm going to rotate this to the other side, and while holding down control, I'm just going to select this side, then I'm going to click on the red dot, and I'm going to move it using this corner as a reference, so it's going to move it over to that side. So now it should all be in place. Let's throw on some edge fillets. So fill it, fill it edge, R, enter. Let's just do a small amount, 0.04 or something, enter. And then we're just going to click on the surfaces. Like that. Enter, enter, enter. So it looks like we can only do one at a time. Enter, enter, enter. Then we have to go to the next one. Enter, enter. like that. Okay, I'll see you in what hopefully is the final part. Peace.